Welcome to George's Dungeon Workshop, where we 3D print with our piles of crap. We've got broken wheels all over the place. Yeah. Thankfully, none of them are mine. <laughs> A new package from Alien Rides. Alien Rides, baby. Sent out my man Sonny a brand new control board for his EXN. All right, what's going on, guys? Your man George back for another video, and today we are changing the control board on the high speed EXN here for my man Sonny. Let me show you a quick video of what happened to his EXN. All right, so my man Sonny was having some issues with his EXN, he over torqued it going downhill, and I went uphill first, going too fast, and it cut out, I scraped my knee, and then it. Turned it back on, held the fence, trying to go downhill with it, and it cut out again. Apparently, so we were uh, cracking it open to take a look, and look at that, that capacitor right there. I kind of had a feeling, since it's still balancing, but it's just overpowering really easily. This capacitor on the board right here, it's not even connected right now. Don't touch anything, because we haven't discharged the board. Yeah. We literally just cracked the panel open, and it was just so obvious what the problem was. It's this cap right here. So, I don't know how to attach caps. I don't know if we can reattach that or not. You might need a whole new board. Yeah. Yeah, so not only is this cap right here completely removed, this one, you can see the wire is also toasted. On the right side there is not even connected anymore. That melted. So this one's literally just, because I was wondering when we, I unplugged the battery here, and we went to go discharge the board. It didn't even beep nothing. We had absolutely no response from the from the wheel. Which normally, if you guys ever take your batteries out, you have to discharge your wheel a couple times. It should beep once, and then kind of it'll be like beep, and then beep, and then nothing. Just to clear out all the power from those capacitors. There was literally no power in those capacitors, which makes sense considering <laughs> neither of them are attached. Alright, so, apologize if the lighting's not the best. This is my little dungeon workshop down here. I don't usually film down here because the lighting's terrible, but the control board's not, like, I usually do a lot of my maintenance outside on my unicycles, just out in front where I get really nice sunlight, but the control board's not really a job. It's not really an outside job. It's kind of an indoor job, so. We'll uh, try and get it on film. I'll have my headlight on, so hopefully we can get better lighting in here so you can see what's actually happening, but. Alright, well. Sonny got his new board. We've got to take out the old board. Now, the one piece of advice I was given by a friend of mine who's a little bit more uh, experienced in these types of things is before we install the new control board, we're just going to check over all the wires on the machine to make sure that it wasn't just the capacitor that fried. Make sure it's not like some wires that got shorted together or something. So we're going to open up the other side of it. Just check, make sure none of the battery wires have any issues. Make sure the motor wire doesn't have any issues. We're just going to check everything just to make sure that it is it is just the control board. I'm pretty confident it is because the wheel still balances. It literally just can't hold a charge. Like It overpowers incredibly easy. It really just seems like the capacitor is the issue. But regardless, we're still going to go over every single wire first just to make sure that there's not a larger issue at play here. All right, so first step was just unplugging all these little connections here and unscrewing the control board, which is apparently just held on with wood screws. That's an interesting choice. Hopefully, when we replace the board here, these wood screws fucking grab back into the plastic. That's an interesting design choice. But so the board that they sent us doesn't have this side board, which I assume is like the communication board. It's probably like the Bluetooth board. I think this is the the communication, and then this yeah. is the music. Oh, okay. Cause, well, cause regardless, it, whatever this is didn't come on this board, so make sure if you're salvaging a board and swapping pieces, you save this little sideboard here. All right, here we go. We got the board pulled out here. You can see the EXN has, like, this large hole in the back Wait, here. what the fuck? You didn't know that? <laughs> <laughs> There's this big ass hole in the back. It's got a little rubber gasket, which looks like it's a little loose. So we're going to make sure so that... So your that tire could slap the heat sink? Possibly? Uh, theoretically, yeah. I mean, I mean not, It looks like not it really. almost did, maybe. Nah, it's a little dirty, but... 
you know that this is one of the main reasons these things should not be ridden in the rain, guys. Oh, like, don't fucking ride this shit. It's technically rain. water like, cooled. What the fuck? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's water cooled. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, I mean, like you can ride it in light wetness. Like if the, if the road's wet, okay. But like torrential downpours, riding through puddles, like don't do that. Well, if you're bored over here, you can just spray some water in there. Oh, yeah, I like this idea. <laughs> it's... All right, well, let's take that uh, sideboard off this now. Yeah, the cardboard. All right, we got the sideboard all hooked up here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just examine all the wires. So we're going to just check all the wires on this side, check the motor wire, and we'll flip it open and just check real quick the battery on the other side just to make sure. Because it ain't worth popping this fucking brand new control board in there if there's a brusted wire somewhere. If something's wrong, then all it's going to do is just fry this board too. So let's do that first. All right. so Me and Sonny were just talking about the motor wires. Look at the King Song. This is a King Song 18XL motor. Look at the little baby motor wire this thing has. It's just a little baby little baby with one plug now look at the exn's motor wire which is like big t probably 12 gauge wire with huge connectors at least yeah. these three right here I, I think this is probably 12 it might be 10 but i think that's 12 gauge wire like look at this that's a motor wire boys yeah. all right so we did just do an inspection of all the wiring all the wiring seems to be in good working order here Sorry again for the lighting. The lighting's trash in here. Welcome to George's Dungeon. But so we're gonna go ahead and just pop this new board right in there. I think it's uh, I think it's time. All right, we got the new board all screwed back in here, secured to the wheel. Um, we did put a little bit of blue Loctite just in a couple of the screws, just to hopefully make sure it holds on stronger. If you just check by wiggling the hole right here. And just see it's moving the whole case the control board is not moving at all if this control board is moving at all you're going to have issues with your gyro so make sure this control board is really secure on there and it's not going to move that's why we put some loctite just to hopefully really secure it down i don't know how well loctite works on screws the plastic but blue, blue. all right so we've got all of our peripherals plugged in we've got the control board motor wires plugged in here so now i think all that's basically left is to plug in the battery here all right all right so you don't really need gloves to do this but i just happen to have some so i'm going to put them on anyway um this is a live wire this is our battery wire we are going to connect them just make sure when you do this you go real fast you line it up because it's going to spark all right so Let's get them together. Ready? All right. It didn't spark. That's good. Well, we went pretty fast then. Or something else is fucked. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So we are all back together now. Is it power button time? It's basically power button time. I kind of want to bring it outside to turn it on. No. Cover on? Yeah. Let's uh. Let's just slap the cover on it. Bring it outside and turn it on. All right. All right, she is put back together. Let's uh, bring it outside and pray she works. Prayers. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Sonny, why don't you uh, do, the, do the deed? Hit the button, see what happens. It's alive. It's alive, baby. Is it self-balancing? Yeah. Yeah, give it a couple rolls back and forth. This has 98 volts. Yeah. Uh -huh. It has 98 volts. Cool. It must have just been resting. All right. So here's the first thing we're gonna do, Sonny. I want you to pick it up and do a free spin test. Oh, true. Before anyone gets on this wheel and rides it, the first thing we're gonna do is just give it a free spin. Make sure it gets up to maximum speed. Turns itself off. Turns back on. You know the whole rigmarole. I'm just gonna connect to UC World first. Free spin test. Oops. The spin button. There's a button there. 
That's one of the things I hate about the button. Alright, so she spun up the speed and cut out. So just open up your EUC world real quick and just see what speed it got up to. It says 62. Woo! <laughs> 62 mile an hour free spin. All right. What the f is That's, that normal? For yeah. Because uh, yeah, you, you take 10 miles an hour off of it for actual riding speeds. So like 52 oh, would yeah. be like you cut out I at 52. I guess I never really remember. I, n I, don't, I never do a free spin test. Anymore. Yeah. All right, so that was the first step. I'm going to get a helmet on and uh, hop on it and feel it. All right, here we go. Full gear for the main voyage here. Oh. So anytime you do any repairs on a wheel, always, always fully gear up first. We're going to go nice and slow to start here. And honestly, I would fully gear up this bad boy for at least the first 100 miles. I mean, always gear up, right? But, make sure it hits these bumps. When I do a little jump on it, good, I'm not overpowering it. Would this have overpowered it when the caps were bad? Yeah, no, like I was just, I was just going down a little hill. Yeah, so me fucking kind of jumping on it, trying to make it overpower a little bit going good oh he's got it on hard mode yeah I like the EXI on soft what do you think Sonny amazing thank he's you he's back he's back oh my god Sonny's been in a state of depression for two weeks waiting oh for his god. board to get here I've been trying I've been I've been fucking oh my god I've never scraped the back though turning. I gotta check the firmware it's on this. Oh yeah, new board, new firmware probably. Yeah. But it should be OTA update over the air. Yeah. But uh, when I was doing that little turn, I scraped the back of the pedal, which is weird. Really? Yeah. Well that's odd. Maybe it needs to be calibrated too. Oh yeah, true. We didn't we didn't calibrate it or do firmware or anything. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'm thinking slow for well, not slow, but <laughs> slow for Sunny. Yeah, guys, when you do a control board repair specifically, the control board is what saves all of your information, right? All your settings. So you're going to have to go back in, set it back up the way you had it before. It, it probably is beeping on them. It probably needs to be recalibrated. It probably needs the ride mode reset. So just keep that in mind if you hop on and it doesn't feel right. You got to go back and redo all your settings. And I always suggest doing that kind of stuff, any hard settings using the Bagode app. I know the Bagode app kind of sucks. And it's kind of suspect. But you want to use the Bagode app. That's what they were designed to be used with. UC World's great for reporting all the numbers and everything, all the live statistics, all that stuff. But do your, your real changes using the Bagode app if you can. All right, guys. So I took the EXN off a couple of bumps, threw a couple potholes. I jumped it down a curb. So I'm giving it the George seal of repair approval. I think we did good. We got it fixed up. Sonny is super happy. He is zooming around right now way too fast for not having a helmet on. But <laughs> that's how it is. That's it, right? But thank you guys for watching this episode. As always, I really appreciate it. If you guys have any repair questions or issues that you need help with, feel free to reach out. I can try and do my best to uh, guide you through or find you a repair video to refer to. And until next time, guys, ride safe.